Let's find the oxidation numbers for each element here in B2H6. This is diborane. The first thing you notice, there's no negative or positive after it. So this is a neutral compound. In a neutral compound, all the oxidation numbers, they add up to zero. That's important. Next, when we look at hydrogen, we usually think of hydrogen being plus one as its oxidation state. But that's when it's bonded to non-metals. If you look at the periodic table, boron, that's a metalloid. So we need to be a little more careful here. Let's look at the difference in electronegativity between boron and hydrogen. So here's boron 2.04 and hydrogen 2.20. Hydrogen is more electronegative, not by a lot, but it's more electronegative. And when we look at oxidation numbers, the more electronegative element, that will be assigned the electrons. So hydrogen, that should have a negative one oxidation state. So when we look at our rules, hydrogen, when it's bonded to metals or boron, is going to be negative one. So each one of these hydrogens is going to be negative one. So we can pretty easily figure out what the boron should be in B2H6 because all the oxidation numbers, they add up to zero. So we have six times negative one, that's negative six. The boron has to be a positive three. Two times positive three, that's plus six. Then we have negative six. Everything adds up to zero. So those are the oxidation numbers for each element in B2H6, diborane. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.